Hello. I'm in the studio of Day One with Peter Wallace, the producer and host of Day One. And we were just doing a radio broadcast, but I wanted to interview Peter about a book he just recently published. Welcome to Please Note. Thank you, Bishop. Peter has just published a book a few months ago entitled The Passionate Jesus, What We Can Learn from Jesus About Love, Fear, Grief, Joy, and Living Authentically. Why did you write this book? <laughs> um, I guess it started because I was wrestling with a, a lot of personal difficulties, um, a lot of things going on in my life uh, that I was struggling with, and I went on a retreat because I felt distant from God, and I decided I was going to make myself read the Gospels again. And what happened is I was kind of feeling all these emotions of fear and anger and grief in my own life, I started to see them in the pages of the Gospels in Jesus' life. I saw that he was a very passionate person who felt his emotions, who felt grief and anger and fear and joy and, mm -hmm. and love. Um, and he uh, became a model for me of being comfortable with my own emotions, expressing them in suitable ways, healthy ways, being honest and, and transparent, a person of authenticity. And I see Jesus is doing that throughout the gospel. So we look at those uh, emotions and we see how Jesus experienced them, how he expressed those emotions, how he responded to people who were having those emotions, uh, and what he taught about the emotions. And there, there's a lot in there that you have to kind of look for, but it's very clear when you see it. What do you hope folk will get out of it? Out of the book? What I hope is that they will understand Jesus as a model for being authentic, for being mm -hmm. real, for being true. And I think when we're able to be honest with ourselves and honest with others, then we can more easily serve others, as Jesus did, to, to honestly um, be with other people in, in loving and serving them honestly and, and openly. So this is the Jesus who doesn't just walk on water. This is the Jesus who also gets wet. Well, that's true. We see a very human Jesus. And I think one of, one of the things that I keep hearing from people who read this book is that they, you know, we believe in Jesus, the Son of God. Mm -hmm. But to see Jesus as somebody I can relate to personally and understand and see what makes him tick, and he was a, a human just as human as we are, and so he knows exactly what we're feeling because he's felt it. He knows the struggles we're going through. He knows mm -hmm. the fear and the anger and the grief as well as the joy and the love because he knows it. He's not floating right. above, you right. know, the grit and grime of human existence in these uh, beautifully uh, mm -hmm. dry cleaned robes, you know, freshly shampooed. He's He's a human being who sweats and cries, right. he weeps, he throws things, <laughs> yeah. you know, not, we have to be careful, right. Right. but see how he does it, see how he lives his emotions, and it's, it, it can be an amazing experience. You talked about the, the part, I've just started the book, but part of what I've read, you did talk about the wisdom Jesus, mm -hmm. the, the way of wisdom. Yes, and you know, we see, we we learn a lot about what Jesus teaches about these emotions. Uh, Cynthia Bourgeau writes about the wisdom Jesus and as a teacher, as uh, someone who provides the wisdom of God in ways that we can understand and grasp and put to work in our own lives, that's kind of the way we're looking at Jesus, the teacher, in, in these uh, emotions. So. I, I'm not aware of anything else like this. You know, I, to be honest, I think this came out of uh, a book that I did, a devotional book on the Psalms. And, of course, the Psalms is wow. full of emotions, yeah. Yeah. visceral, raw emotion. And I think it kind of carried over as I looked into the New Testament. I said, well, Jesus was a man of the book. Um, but um, I, So I started doing some study, and I found a couple of scholarly books on the emotions of Jesus that just go into every <laughs> detail that, you know. But... And there was an old, about a hundred-year-old devotional book on the emotions of Jesus. It was beautiful. But there's just not been a whole lot written on this. That's why I thought, well, this has helped me, and I hope, I hope it can help others. Well, I'm enjoying reading it, and, and I thank you for 
Uh, Peter gave me a signed copy of <laughs> The Passionate Jesus, What We Can Learn from Jesus About Love, Fear, Grief, Joy, and Living Authentically. Peter, thank you. And thank you to Day One for the ministry you do. And we'll put all the links to Day One and links to where folk can get your book as well. Great. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. God bless you and keep the faith.